Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am No Patience, and today we'll be talking about how to get pregnant easily. Here in this video, I'll be discussing tips that would help fasting or speeding up your conception time. So please stay tuned. Welcome back. If you are new to this channel, this is your first time visiting or you have visited this channel before and you've not subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and also like this video. Thank you. So back to our topic of discussion, you would agree with me that infertility have caused or have been a major concern to families so that most male partners now tend to be impatient on their wives and infertility have been a major cause of violence, domestic violence in the house. Infertility have brought about separation in the family. Infertility have been a major cause of polygamous marriage. It have also resulted to infidelity, which is unfaithfulness on the part of either parties to themselves. We don't want you to get to that stage before you realize the importance of taking these tips that will be shared in this video series. One of the tips here is you go for a preconception visit. By a preconception visit, I mean you and your partner would go visit a gynecologist or an obstetrician. There are some of these health issues you'll be having, underlying diseases would be checked. You'll be screened for certain diseases if you don't have, fine. But if you have proper ways of handling them, would also be would also be given to you. Also, if you have some little background of viral infections, you would also be screened for that and you it will be managed. By, by viral infection now, I mean HIV, AIDS, also maybe hepatitis, it also those ones will be checked. Then your vaccines, if you've had a complete dose of your vaccine, then you are also good. If you have any form of disease condition, you'd also speak with your doctor at that point. If you have, say, hypertension, diabetes, all those things, you would discuss with your doctor in this visit so that he would give you a more appropriate way of maintaining and managing it during the course of the pregnancy. He would also advise you on taking off prenatal vitamins, which are very important for you. The next tip is you need to eat healthy food. Healthy By healthy food, I mean a well-balanced diet. A well-balanced diet is one that contains disease classes of food in its adequate proportion. Carbohydrates will be there, protein, vitamins, the fat and oil, water would also be there, minerals would also be present in this diet, all in one diet. So these are the kind of things you'll be taking. You try and cut down junks, junky foods that would not really do much for you at that point is not what you need. You need food that has the right nutrient for you. Then you also start taking your prenatal vitamins. If you go online, you would see some stores that sell prenatal vitamins or you can get for, from a well-known pharmaceutical stores around you. The next thing is you would have to cut down bad habits. If you smoke, you quit smoking, cut back alcohol, cut back cocaine, hard drugs, any form of hard drugs, you would cut it down so that it don't have to affect your baby. The next thing you you would have to exercise. By exercise, I don't mean vigorous exercise. You maybe if you are the type that does not work out, you try and take a few walks. Maybe when you wake in the morning or in the evening before you go to bed, you try and stroll around the area for 10-15 minutes. You can also try jogging, but don't go overboard. The next thing is you would have to stop taking your 
oral contraceptive if you have been on oral contraceptive and you have plans of conceiving first thing you need to do is you stop taking oral contraceptive then if there's any other contraceptive you are on like the intrauterine device then you take it off if you have implants hormonal implants you would also take that out to help regulate your ovulation cycle and also your menstrual cycle because these are good determining factors of you getting pregnant then another important tip here is you know your ovulatory cycle this is very to me this is the most important because without your ovulation cycle you might not really know the right time when you are to meet with your partner by meet i mean sexual intercourse because if you meet with your partner outside your ovulation cycle that's after the day outside when you are ovulating you might not really get a good result having sex outside or before ovulation might not really yield a good result for you so having a good knowledge or even knowing the exact date you are ovulate, ovulating would help you know when to meet your partner and also get pregnant in my next video i'll be talking about those signs and symptoms that would help you know that you are ovulating so if you have not subscribed please do well to subscribe and also like this channel if there's anything you'd want us to know on this platform about this topic that have been discussed you can also do that in the comment section thank you